Observe the various parts of the gallbladder. The Hartman's pouch is an abnormal outpouching caused due to an impacted stone in the infundibulum. The target during laparoscopic cholecystectomy is the neck of the gallbladder where one starts skeletonizing the cystic duct. The lymph node of Lund or Mascagni is found around the neck of the gallbladder. Observe the portal triad. The portal vein is posterior. There are two structures anteriorly. Bile ducts are lateral. Blood vessels are medial. The common bile duct is supplied by the 3 and 9 o'clock arteries. Vertical incisions will not compromise the blood supply, but horizontal incisions will. In 20% of cases, the right hepatic artery is found in the cholecystohepatic triangle. This is called the Moynihan's hump. Ischemic necrosis of the liver results in case it is clipped. Remember that the right hepatic artery is larger in caliber. If in doubt, lightly gripping it with the Maryland would lead to a color change in the liver and alert the surgeon. The next step would be to dissect very close to the gallbladder to find the cystic artery branching out of the right hepatic artery. It should then be clipped. Unlike the rest of the gastrointestinal tract, the gallbladder has no submucosa. The muscularis is crisscross. Thus the mucosa is plastered to the serosa in the diamond shaped spaces in the crisscross. Distension of the gallbladder leads to diverticulae being formed called ashoff rotinansky sinuses. Consequences are, these sinuses may accumulate cholesterol crystals and fat globules leading to strawberry gallbladder. These sinuses harbor bacteria that secrete glucuronidase unconjugating the bilirubin and phospholipase which acts on lecithin. Lecithin is an important phospholipid which is converted to lysolecithin having a soap-like effect directly on the mucosa causing it to slough off. Chemical inflammation followed by bacterial infection of the gallbladder leads to gangrene, empyema, emphysema and perforation. In contrast, bile stasis, distension and gallbladder ischemia lead to acalculus cholecystitis, commonly seen in ICU patients, burns, sepsis, diabetes, MODS, polytrauma, etc. The treatment is emergency decompression by cholecystostomy. Bile is composed of water, proteins and fats. Observe that the fats have been categorized into cholesterol, phospholipids and bile acids and salts. The water and electrolytes are similar to plasma. Cholesterol and phospholipids are the fats and these are the bile salts and acids. In the gallbladder, calcium is solubilized by hydrogen ions which are secreted from the gallbladder mucosa. Phospholipids, bile acids and cholesterol form micelles which solubilize the cholesterol. The bile is produced by the liver but secreted by the extrahepatic biliary tree. Acids, proteins and fats in the duodenum increase the production and secretion of bile. Cholecystokinin increases bile secretion only. Somatostatin and vasoactive intestinal polypeptide decrease bile secretion. Thus somatostatin or VIP secreting tumors decrease bile secretion leading to gallstones. The gallbladder concentrates the bile by 10 times. It also stores the bile and secretes it in response to cholecystokinin. The gallbladder secretes mucus and hydrogen ions. The mucus protects the mucosa and hydrogen ions maintain acidic pH preventing calcium precipitation. The biles emulsify the fats. 80% of the bile acids are absorbed in the terminal ileum. 20% is deconjugated by the gut bacteria forming secondary bile acids deoxycholate and lithocholate. These also enter the enterohepatic circulation. Only 5% of the bile acid pool is excreted in the stools. Change in the ratio of phospholipids, bile acids and cholesterol lead to supersaturation of cholesterol followed by nucleation and finally growth of the cholesterol stone. Increased bile pigments lead to black stones which contain calcium mixed with bile pigments. In the presence of infection, 
and bacterial enzymes gluconolinase and phospholipase, brown stones get formed. They contain calcium palmitate, calcium bilirubinate and calcium stearate with cholesterol. The etiology of gallstones is due to obesity where there is increased consumption of fat changing the ratio, pregnancy with progesterone causing stasis, Crohn's disease and terminal ileal disease which lead to dysfunction of enterohepatic circulation, hemolytic diseases overwhelming the metabolic capacity of the liver and gastric surgery with the bigotomy causing a stasis.